Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. My name is Nietzsche and my intention to help you feel great and live your best life. And in today's Reiki session we are focusing on love and 528 Hertz. Um, I know it's been really rough for a lot of us the past three or four weeks. Uh, I've really been feeling the effects of change and energy and shifts, um, transformation and downloads. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone for your patience. This has probably been one of the most difficult times for me since I've had this channel. Um, and it was really difficult to make many of the videos, so I did my best to get through it. I did take the time I needed and I still am but as we know, it can be a slow process. So sometimes little distractions are very helpful. And today's session is a love session. And again, on the spiritual path, this journey, this ascension process, a lot of times we do this alone, people come and go. Uh, it can be very lonely at times. So for those of you um, that are dealing with this right now, or maybe you're just feeling lonely for other reasons. It doesn't matter. Whatever's going on, you just need to feel nurtured and loved and cared for. That is why I, what I designed this session around. So please go ahead and make yourself as comfortable as possible. So if you can, as best you can, try to settle and quiet the mind. Let go of any repeating or looping thoughts, anything that is not serving, anything that is weighing you down, causing you pain and suffering depression or anxiety. Leave those things at the door. If you like, you can pick them up on the way out or maybe you'll just leave them. So besides working on 528 Hertz frequency and bringing more love and support into our lives right now, if you would like to add something to this, please Look into the candle, set your intention, and now release. So, as I often like to do, starting with our grounding stones and crystals, we are using this lovely aragonite at the feet. And also, in case there's any EMF disturbances, I'm placing this at your feet as well to help pull that out. We don't want that to drain you any longer. We have enough things to deal with. As, we have enough things to deal with as it is. We don't need the extra weighing us down. And for your hands, we have lovely sticks of selenite. And I'm just going to draw with my tiny little selenite. Actually, I want to flick some selenite into your luminous network. Just thinking of that as a magnet helping to magnetize and boost that energy. And some extra symbols today. And I'm going to go over these in just a second. We're going to be using some symbols that I haven't used in a while. So let me share with the share with you the symbols. <clears throat> okay, so the first Grandmaster symbol we are working with today is Daihei Wa, and it's the bottom right there. And this 
helps you to find and keep your peace. Um, this, this peace is attained by confiding completely and trusting the energy of Source, Higher Self, your Divine Inner Presence. And it also helps to understand the meaning of this devotion and supports the student to overgo, overcome the ego and allows one to trust completely in the divine energy and to get the rest and peace in this trust. And how amazing is that for us to just completely surrender and trust is a very difficult thing to do. So just as much as you can. And the next symbol we are working with is Daimichi, and it is the symbol right here. And Daimichi, that sounds a little bit like Nietzsche. <laughs> it helps to develop a wisdom of spiritual love and compassion, allowing you to practice this with more meaningful and, and enriched way of life. Uh, utilizing the symbol also helps to recognize our innate abilities to use and enrich our lives with others and with abundance. So that's beautiful, not just for ourselves, but with and others And the last well. one is Daikibo, and it is the top. And Daikibo is called the Great Hope, and it aims to allow you to always see that there is always hope. There is always hope in all situations. There is never reason to lose hope, both in personal and collective sense. The symbol establishes a particular contract with a higher energy that could be your guides, angels, higher self, so helping you to better connect that way. And this also helps answer the questions of why when you're in a personal crisis uh, of achievement or your goals. Um, this helps us to see alternatives, like we're so myopic and focused on something that we just can't break away. And this symbol also, besides hope, it helps to open that third eye, that connection with the divine and to better work with your angelics or uh, whoever you work with and helping you to see things with a different mind, with different eyes to help you through that process. And now I'm just going to start with a little or a sweeping. I haven't used my selenites in a while. So starting with that outside layer and just working through that removing any low vibrational energies and frequencies, anything that might be attached, anything that's making you feel less than worthy or deserving, anything that's making you feel depressed and sad. Again, taking all of this away, opening that beautiful heart space, Reconnecting with that high divine power within, opening that beautiful heart chakra, stimulating and activating. And I have light language symbol for you as well. A little activation. And starting with our beautiful slabs, we are working with Crazy Lace Agate and also Cherry Creek Jasper. So just take a gentle breath in and out, settling in. I've already charged up my hand, so Reiki is flowing to you now through time and space, all dimensions, realities and timelines, past, present, and future for your highest good and the well-being of all.
and also our invocation. I usually start with that, but we'll do it now. Welcoming the presence of all that is, Ascended Masters, Reiki Masters, Spirit and Animal Guides, Benevolent Beings of the Highest Truth and Compassion, Ancestor Healers, we welcome and we invite and welcome this energy that serves our most empowered and aligned selves, and so it is. Feeling a warm, tingling pulsation in the chest area, in the heart, and the high heart. And I'm just going to draw a little infinity symbol around them. And also working with rose quartz and pink calcite. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. You are loved, you are cherished, you are supported. Shana yehiniha hutu kui kukwaha atne he e ete utu turui shkumkuta hene e titai e shuhutu. Shahana Titi, who Kutunturi Unkukuaha, who know who ish Kukukotaa, Ushkantataye, who know two ish Kahana Yete, who Kututu Nituati. The powerful healing of eternal love is with you now and always. Divine consciousness fills your every cell. You are whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. You are pure, clear, and balanced. How are you feeling? Lighter, lifted, loved, held, supported, we're just going to spray a little rose essence into your aura. 
sealing up that beautiful magnetic luminous network of the smell of rose fluffing you up sealing you in protection as always not that you need it and remember you are the power you have the power within you for protection or anything you desire And let's wrap up with an affirmation. In today's card, I welcome miracles into my life. I welcome miracles into my life. I welcome miracles into my life. And also, you could even change that to go with our theme. I am welcoming love into my life. Because remember, what we focus on grows. How we feel grows and reflects around us. So the more love we feel, the more loved we feel, we start attracting more of that into our lives. So besides miracles, I am attracting more love into my life. You attracted me. You attracted this video. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> well, maybe some of you did so much for joining me today I truly and deeply appreciate you so very much until my next video there is much love for you here may you be free of suffering and may your journey flow with ease highest blessings and infinite gratitude Satnam